Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Shop Social with Kim. Super excited that you have joined us. Just going to turn my volume up here. Make sure I'm on. Perfect. Hello, hello. Welcome to the second episode of March. How is that possible already? The days are going so fast. So um, if you're, this is your very first time joining us, hello, my name is Kim. You're joining Johnson's in Kim Lee, Manitoba. We are super excited to have you along and looking forward to about 45 minutes of spring shoes. So as you can see, we are no longer uh, by our fancy backdrop. Uh, we have no fancy lighting this time. Uh, we're gonna go on a little store tour. So at about 5.30, we finally finished um, getting all of our uh, spring shoes organized that we've just gotten in in the last sort of week to 10 days. So I thought it would be fun to kind of do an actual, I'm gonna do my old fashioned, pull the camera around and I'll give you a little quick tour. We have quite a few new brands. Um, so the best way to kind of, for me to show you is to take you right to the rack with you. So that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, before we get started, uh, we are gonna do our draw from last week. And last week we had our French dressing spring collection. Um, oh, before I forget, if you haven't already, please leave us a comment. Hi, my name is, where are you watching from? And are you watching live or on the replay? Um, that will get you entered into our $25 gift card draw that we're gonna draw right away. Um, oh, and a bonus question. I realized I forgot to ask for a bonus question last time as I was doing the draw. So this week's bonus question before I forget is, do you do spring cleaning? And if so, what, where do you start? So I just recently started spring cleaning at my house. I started with my bathroom and that's always a challenge, right? It's like the vanity, the medicine cabinet, the linen closet, all of that. So lots of garbage, um, organized baskets, the whole nine yards. So that is today's bonus question. If you do spring clean, yay or nay, why or why not? What do you start with? And do you have any tricks? For spring cleaning. Okay, so from last week we did French dressing uh, spring collection and we had lots and lots of calls and emails and text messages about that video so it was great. I hope everybody enjoyed it um, and uh, that was just sort of the tip of the iceberg. So I know I promised you a tribal video today but you will have to be content with my little tribal outfit reveal. Uh, we decided to do the spring shoes today because next week is blingo already so we're, if we don't do shoes soon we're not going to have time to do them. So, um, totally have no script today. So jumping, <laughs> jumping ahead and behind it myself. Okay. So first of all, let's do our draw from last week. Um, uh, that was episode number 86. We had 88 comments and, uh, could I ask a lovely lady to post a comment between one and 88 for a $25 gift card draw? So I will, first number that comes across my screen is the one I will take. Hello, hi Linda, hi Joanne, hi Vicki, hi Diana, how's it going? All right, so one and 88, who is our lucky winner gonna be? Vicki, thank you, number 55. Okay, 55 is Susan Pollock. She's gonna be a happy lady. Her comment with beautiful details on the jean jacket won her a $25 gift card. So congratulations, Susan. So Susan, number 55. All right, awesome. Okay, so a couple of housekeeping comments uh, before we head out, before we head out, before we start. Um, we have 11 Blingo boxes left. So if you do want to play next week or you are find yourself suddenly available next Wednesday, we would love to have you play along. Our theme is um, movie night. Uh, anyone who watched the Oscars this weekend and played along with us, thank you very much. Uh, we had a little kind of a, a fun ballad in the box for those who didn't get a box this month. And um, I, Arlene and I had a friendly competition and I lost miserably. So <laughs> uh, it was lots of fun though and it did keep you kind of watching the broadcast, right? So yeah, it was lots and lots of fun. I always love seeing the dresses, of course. There was always some crazy ones, um, but uh, but definitely, you know, lots of, lots of beautiful ones too. There was one that was um, a really deep V in the front and then a really uh, high V in the, in, on the leg. And like they, all, the V's were so deep, they almost touched each other. Like it was just crazy how, that was just a beautiful dress though. Okay, so 11 boxes left. If you do wanna play, uh, please let us know. We're happy to put a box aside for you. If you want it shipped, uh, please let us know by like tomorrow or Friday at the latest because it is like just for the shipping, I never like to leave it too last minute. 
So Blingo will be one week today, Wednesday, May, March 20th, and the April boxes will ship March 21st. So for those subscribers, you've already paid for your April box, you were charged on March 1st, and um, uh, so you will automatically get those. Those will be fulfilled probably Wednesday night after Blingo, so they'll be on their way to you right away. We are waiting for one item, but I think it's en route, so we should be good. And uh, I'm excited about the April box and I'm, that's all I'm going to say about it, but it's going to get you in the spring mood, put it to you that way. All right. So uh, that's it for housekeeping today. We're going to hop right into our store tour. First of all, we're going to start with an outfit tour. So I know this is a lot of patterns, so I will come with a disclaimer. So these are all sold separately. So if you don't want to put this together like this, you certainly don't have to. I'm going to pull uh, one little caramel pant and jacket just to show you a different way that you can that you can wear it. So this is not pajamas. I did not forget to get dressed this morning. This is tribal, so it's part of their uh, second delivery, which is pinks and purples and um, lots and lots of great colors. So this is my color palette. I was waiting for all of the apricots and moss greens and everything to to be to be shipped, and then I'm like, oh, I open the box. I'm like, oh, here we are. This this is what we're talking about. Okay, so uh, there is a little, um, kind of a palazzo pant, I will say. And it does have a great little border print. So really cute, very blousy. This is a sateen um, fabric. So <clears throat> it's not linen or anything. It does have a very soft hand, kind of a satin type of hand. <coughs> Pardon me, should I grab my water bottle? Mm, I'm gonna actually grab it right now. Sorry, just in case I have a coughing fit. So dry in here. Oh, I'm like static central. Um, okay, so pajama type pant, but like palazzo ish, right? Little pocket. So adorable. So I'm going to show you the second pair of shoes with it. I was, we're going to start with our Miss Moose. So I'm going to show you the second pair with it. Um, just so you can kind of see how the footwear really changes the outfit. So I first chose a little uh, Miss Moose slip on, very easy breezy, and it just kind of makes it fun and beachy. I put that little raspberry t-shirt underneath it. It's actually from the first delivery. Uh, is it from the first delivery? I believe this is from the first delivery. So it has a really nice little sort of um, crochet type of um, neckline, short sleeves. So it does have a full sleeve on the t-shirt. And then I threw on the little over blouse. So to me, of course, I like a match. But imagine if you did this with it. So I don't know if you can see very well. See if I can hold this up to the camera better. So in this print, there is this sort of nutmeggy color in here. So that is the base color for this. And if you'd rather it be less pajama looking and more sort of daytime looking, look at how that changes the print when you put a solid base color as opposed to a bright base color so a receding color because even the top on itself is lots right so I love this actually I think this is a really nice way to wear it and just kind of grounds the print a little bit Oops. live live video folks and then also if you did this jacket with instead of the shirt look how that changes the pant so the pant has the exact same that up in a minute the exact same um border print as the jacket but i love the addition of this solid print into it like i mean i'm this is i'm a pink person if you're not and you feel like hey that's just a lot even for even for you throwing into that caramel jacket really tones down the print and really kind of gives it a totally different vibe right so okay so there's your sort of a little or a lot print I did put a little bit of extra jewelry on, um, a little sort of Moroccan theme earring. So bangle, you know, I'm always like, put one more thing on, right? So the shoe that I chose initially was my first choice in the little pink sandal, but I'm gonna show you one more. Um, and it totally changes the look of the pant. So it's beachy. Then when we put on the little this is one of our best sellers. This one is Miss Moose. It's called Amelia. One of their best sellers too. So if you put it on with the heel, I'm just gonna ride this down a little bit more just so I can give it a little bit more length. Look at how that pant 
changes. All of a sudden, it becomes evening. It becomes that little bit more elegant looking. You don't feel like you're going to the beach. Even if you put on a little sort of like sequiny top or something, could you wear this to a wedding? I think you probably could, right? So just with the addition of the shoe changes the total outfit completely. I think you sort of stand differently and the pant drapes differently as well. Um, last thing I wanted to show before we launch into the footwear tour is we got in these little belt bags very very cute um, it's a new brand for us and all they make is these so it's a very small company so it comes with a guitar strap like this and then it also comes with a plain strap I'm going to show you the other colors like that so if you're thinking okay like I like the print and I want it to be a statement now I don't know how you guys feel about these if you guys have one of the Lulu ones or whatever and you're like more of a woman than me and you can carry your life in this bag more power to you i would be very intimidated by trying to fit my entire life into here but look how cute this color is even with the guitar strap with this little whoops with this little elegant shoe right so fun anyway i wanted to show you this one just because it's something different we haven't had anything like this before great for traveling um and all full grain leather really nice gold detail so if you have a Lulu one and you're like, yeah, it's a little bit casual sometimes, this might be a nice alternative. And I'm just gonna show you the other colors. So the brown I pulled, uh, just because of my outfit, it also comes in the blue, sort of blue glitter and it is sparkly. And then the guitar strap is pink and blue, cute. Oops. Then it comes in the teal metallic, which is gorgeous guitar strap is teal and then also comes with the with the um, plain strap as well then we have of course some basics and I've actually had people buy a couple so they could change the straps to be whatever which I thought was genius um, so plain black with the cream and black guitar strap and then in the cream which would be nice for traveling and then kind of like a Navajo Aztec kind of strap. Yeah. So I'm a big purse person, as most of you know, know me know. Um, so that would be a challenge for me, but I might try it. So I'm gonna, the jury's out. So, okay, so those are 129. We only have about eight left. We got about 15 or 16 in, so they've been selling really well. And okay, so we are going to start off with our new Miss Boos. Okay, so let's turn us around and these are all listed on the website so you can go to so johnsonsfashion.com click on women's footwear click on miss moose you'll see all of these here and um so the first one that i'll talk about is the one that i'm wearing this is the amelia which is their number one shoe and our number one shoe as well so it is like the world's most buttery soft leather really nice kind of western looking heel this is a new color for us called brandy uh, this is Kim's pick for sure. I think I probably will have a hard time leaving without these tonight. Uh, it also comes in the cream and we also have black on order, but the black is not here yet. So this is the cream. We had beige last year. So this is the cream. It's a little bit more taupey, not quite as white beige, uh, but great shoe. Great for kind of that barefoot shoe with a crop pant. Um, if you're wearing a jean that's wider and you need a shoe that's a bit more substantial, this is great. Then we have my casual shoe version that I was wearing. Uh, this is a new bottom for us and them as well. And this does fit a bit wider. So if you find this moves a bit on the narrow side, um, this might be a good option. It has a little sort of an angled um, bo uh, bodice vamp. So when you put your foot in, even if you're wide in the uh, high in the instep, which I am, I did find that it was tons of room. It does have a rubber bottom as well instead of the leather. So this one will give you maybe slightly more arch support, slightly more width. New shoe, new shoe is called May, M-A-E. And then we have an Old Faithful. So we have Delilah, this one we carry every year, just a replenishment in black. Like this is your ideal summer shoe if you want like a black slide that's gonna match with anything. That's a great one. Also have the May in black. So that little bit of a wider one, same as in pink, we have the black. Then if you're wanting something a little bit dressier, this is a new, uh, this is a repeater. 
So we've never had this one in black. So this one's called Ainsley and we had it in white and brandy last year, sold out to the piece. Everybody said, oh, I love that shoe. I wish you had it in black. If I didn't hear that a hundred times, I heard it one. So this shoe is gonna be a great shoe for black. Anything if you wanna dress up a bit. Again, that angled vamp, hard to see on camera. So this vamp is sort of more of an angle this way. You can see it like that. There you go, that's a bit better. Open toe, same heel, really pretty. And then also in the white, or in the beige. Cream, cream. I haven't learned all the colors yet. Okay, so this one in the cream. So we had the, the Amelia, which is the closed toe in the cream last year. So this year we brought this one in in cream. Really nice, neutral, basic. And same heel. I'm just going to pull us over here. This is why we don't have our backdrop today, because it's just so much easier to be able to, oops, so much easier to be able to whip around and uh, have a little tour. Okay, a couple of new styles. Um, on a flat footbed, a lot of people were asking for a back strap. So Miss Moose is known for their kind of colorful slip-ons, butter soft leather. Um, you can sort of see that we don't buy it super, super colorful. We buy some pink and some green, but we find that people kind of want to wear them with everything. So I love this color combination for that. This one is called Almond Brandy. So it is a V front, so it's got a V and a V, so really nice fit, but the back strap is in brandy. So really pretty on the foot, I think, and totally neutral, like what wouldn't that match, right? So new style for us. Then we have another new one. This is on a slightly different higher heel. So Miss Moose is very trendy, right? So you'll see lots of 90s influence from them. Going into fall 2024, you will see even more. So if you grew up and you had a pair of Steve Madden loafers with lugs that were this high, um, you'll probably be quite happy. Um, lots and lots of Miss Moose newness has that real 90s influence. And this is definitely no exception. So I think this is a nice update on this shoe. Uh, not quite maybe as high as the other one. No angle here, so just a straight... Um, straight strap on the shoe, open toe, but this is a very, this is going to be a very good shoe, I think. New for us, we have the Delilah in navy, so it's actually called jeans if you're looking on the website. A really nice dark navy, great for jeans. So if you're someone who wears jeans lots in the summer or looking for a navy shoe, hard to get. Uh, then we have a new one called amber. So in the plain white, a lot of people said I want a white shoe. White is of course fashionable. Um, you don't want one that's so covered. So we picked this one that had a little bit more of a cutout effect, but still nice and high on your foot so you don't have that flippy flop. Um, bleached out heel, so really nice and summery. And then last one is kind of the sister to the new Dorothy. We This one is called whoops, Letitia. And if you're looking online, they're called Letitia. So this one is two straps. Again, both of V though. This is always a really great fit for someone who has a high instep. Um, and uh, easy to put on and back strap. So the only negative, not negative, but the only detriment sometimes is Miss Moose is they don't really have an adjustment. So they have to fit your foot perfect. And I would always suggest buying them on the snug side because they are super, super soft leather and you're gonna get some movement for sure. So just keep that in mind if you're ordering online. Um, I wear a seven and a half and I usually wear a 38. The only thing I wear a 39 in is this one. And it's because my instep is so high that I have to get the bigger size to give me a little bit of extra room in here. If you have a narrow foot, you can almost go down a size in this one because you're gonna go so far forward. So yeah, questions, comments, compliments, let me know. Okay, so we're gonna move over to the Teos. So as you can see, every brand sort of has its own little island. And uh, Teos is one that we definitely um, have to kind of give a little bit of love to because we really, it's one of our best lines for sure. So I'm going to start off with one that people know and love. And this one is called Truly. It is has a little Velcro strap and um, a, great for a narrow foot. So if you're thinking about um, going to on a European vacation, lots and lots of people uh, that have been coming in recently are going to Europe. 
and wanting something that's a little bit more secure on the foot. Like if you're walking over cobblestone and that kind of thing, you don't want anything that's loosey-goosey or that you're going to go over on. You really want to make sure that you're sort of set in your shoe. So this is always one that I recommend. A um, couple of different features. So it fits great on a narrow foot because the strap is on one um, continuum. So if you need less in the forefoot, you can pull through. If you need more in the forefoot, you can give yourself more. So it fits a narrow foot, but it also fits a wider foot for that exact reason. So double strap here um, on a, a little bit of, like a little bit of incline, but not super high in the wedge, but look at, oops, look at that arch support. So you can really see that that's a nice built up arch. This is a new color for us. So we've carried this shoe for many years. This one is a new color called Camel. We used to carry beige and beige combination, but I thought this was kind of nice even going back to uh, even some of the colors that I'm wearing, right? That Camel would be really nice. And then we have black, which of course every year. Um, okay, so those are the repeaters. Then we have Prize, which is again, repeater. New color though, this is a metallic multi. So it has a little bit of gold, a little bit of silver, and a little bit of bronze. Triple strap, one, two, three, all adjusting. Fits great on a narrow foot and also great on a wide foot because it really has a long Velcro. Sometimes when Velcro is like this long, you know, you, you if, you, if you're wider, you just don't have enough Velcro to get it to, but this one really snugs up nice and also is a nice um, option. So here we have um, these, and these ones all go like six to 11. I better hurry up here. I'm not going to have any time for anything else. Then we have a new one. Well, not new. We haven't had it for quite a few years, but again, it says take on the truly. So take on the first one, double adjusting one, two, but a little bit of a wider footbed. So rubber bottom, definitely a little bit more flex than the other one with the cork. This has no cork. These ones do have the cork insole. Uh, so we have it in the, in the back strap, which is called big time. And then we have it in the slip-on, which is called double U, like double and then the letter U. These are all on the website as well on the Teos page. So these ones are one, two, and easy. So again, tons of, this one doesn't have quite as much Velcro length as the other one, but like even if you have a high end step, this would be a great option. Plain black and also pewter. And then we have this one that's a little bit more of a, um, Hmm, I'm not going to say older, but I am going to say something, someone that really needs a lot of stability. So that's the best way that I can describe it. Two adjustments, one and two. And this one does have quite a nice Velcro, but you can see the, the height of the arch here. Really, really nice and high. This is a shoe that's going to go nowhere. So you put your foot in, Velcro around it, and your foot is staying in there. So it's not going to lift. It's not going to buckle, anything like that. Um, black only, but a new style, which we think is going to be great. This one is called The Show, and this is a T-strap sandal. I love this color. I think it's a really neat shade. It's called Espresso. Espresso. Also comes in white. Uh, double adjusting here. One, two. Not quite as much reach as the other one, but definitely, um, definitely a good option. And a nice arch support here. So definitely um, more of a um, rubber bottom. So some you're going to get flex on, some you're not. And I'm just going to move ourselves over to the other side of the table. Hi, there we go. Okay, so continuing on with our Teos. If you're a Teos knower and lover, you will know this one. This one is called Gift. And this is Teos's, well, this is our number one style from Teos for sure. Uh, fits just a really great foot fits wide, fits not great for super narrow or super shallow, but fits well. Um, it has a little toe hold here though. So if you are narrow, you're not going to go through it. This is the shiny silver. Then we have the black, of course. This is the pewter. So the dark silver, as you can see, we like this shoe. Uh, we have the white, which is actually off white. Like it's not super glaring white. A lot of people say, oh, I love white, but it's just so glaring on your foot. This is a nice soft white. And then the bronze, which we haven't had for a while. 
I just threw out a pair of bronze very recently that were like so done that I, you, could, you couldn't even see the bottom. It was just totally glossed over. So they were like super, super worn out. So this is definitely um, going to be probably hitting my closet very soon as well. Okay, and then last year uh, we had this one for the first time called Loop. And it is um, the cork construction, so it's not flexible. This one has the rubber construction, so definitely a lot more movement in it. Toe hold as opposed to just a toe post, so your toe will go right into here. Nice over the arch because it does have a lot of adjustment. Really nice for a narrow uh, fit as well. Lots of lots of room to take um, to draw in or to let out, right? So there's lots and lots of options here. This one is brandy, and then we also have black. We sold out of this one in black last year very quickly, like by I think probably May long weekend we had no black left. And then last is off-white. So this one is called off-white. This one is called white. To me, they look almost identical in color. So if you're thinking about ordering this one online, don't worry that it's super white. It's not. It's cream. Like, it's off-white. Okay, and then the last couple are on a wedge. So many people love a wedge bottom. Um, I love this one myself. It's got sort of everything a wedge should have. It holds on your foot nicely. It's got one Velcro just to hold over your arch. Open toe, really, really nice uh, footbed for, for working. Uh, also comes in the cognac. Really, so this would have been really cute with this outfit as well. Very nice. Okay, and then last in the chaos is this one that we carry every year. In the black, this one is called Carousel. If you're someone who wants a shoe for a wedding that you don't want to have a stiletto for, you also want something that's just sort of like less spiky, but you still want to be dressy and comfortable, this is a great shoe. And also this year coming in the taupe with a gold, 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 so gold buckle here and silver buckle here. Anyway, so that is Teos and I'm going to run us back to, uh, where am I going to, I'm going to run us back to this way. And the reason is because we have a couple of new brands that we wanted to showcase. The first one is called Viking. So every, a, a lot of times last year, people came in and uh, came in wearing them and said, you should be really carrying these shoes. And after about the 10th person came in and said, you should be carrying these shoes. I finally looked into it and I thought, okay, I got to figure this out. Found the sales rep, kind of did that. And so I actually had never seen them in real other than people wearing them on their feet. Um, so we just got in our, um, what we had ordered today. I thought we could get a little better one. So if anybody um, has any of the Vikings or, lo or, or loves them, please let us know. So I'm going to start off with kind of a nice basic version. This is a really economical um, brand as well. So they're all $79.99. They are not leather, so just keep that in mind. But they are an extremely comfortable footbed. Super um, padded. And I slipped them on my foot and I thought they were extremely comfortable. So it's a nice shoe if you're going on holidays and you're thinking like, I don't want to take a $200 pair of shoes in case they get wrecked or whatever. Um, these are great because like they're like, it's not a lifetime investment at $79, right? So they're kind of look a little bit like Birkenstock and a little bit like Nayot in the olden days. So there's lots of color. Uh, we did bring this one in in a triple strap, plain brown if somebody wants. Then we have in the same triple strap. Now this is kind of a satin, gold burnished, but it love it. It kind of has the feeling of satin, but it's fabric. So if that makes any sense. So triple strap as well. This is great for a narrow foot, and um, a nice summery print. So super pretty. As soon as I slipped my foot, and I was quite amazed because the support is amazing. So. Okay, then we have the double strap black. So if you're a Birkenstock lover and you're like, I don't really want to pay $180 for them anymore. Um, this is your two strap black. Basic, I know, but that's various people. Then we have, a, so this one is kind of a copy of a Mephisto style that we've had in the past in a little bit of a wedge bottom. So kind of a cute black and silver. So definitely could be a bit dressier and um, nice for an arrow, toe hold and a little bit of a buckle here. So this is real buckle, not Velcro. Then we have, this is kind of what Viking is known for. Most people who came in last year were wearing something tropical looking like this. So this is a two strap, kind of a jungle kind of a print and like a sateen finish. So it's not a leathery finish. It's kind of feels like a like a sateen. 
Then we have in the Tahoe. So I always say Tahoe because that's what the Nayot style is called. Um, if you know and love Nayot, you will recognize the style as Tahoe. Um, so it's the same basic construction, except that the fabrication is is fabric, right? So I love the little white bottom on here. Normally, I'm not a fan of the white bottom, um, but I do like it with this one because I think it, it's, if you put darker black, it would really take away from that lightness of the print. And then we have, I'm going to show you my favorite one last. Then we have a nice plain. So this one, again, is a very reminiscent of a, of a Nayot style that we've carried before. So one strap has the little, um, the little sparklies and the other strap doesn't. So kind of like a Fresno from Nayot. This one, plain black, again, kind of a Tahoe. And if you're thinking, okay, I want just a nice uh, sandal that I can wear every day, this might be it. Kim's pick, get ready for it, iridescence. All right, so this is definitely my favorite for sure. So like, what wouldn't that match? Like, no matter kind of how you, how you um, roll it, it kind of takes on a different color connotation. Two strap, two uh, adjustments here. So nice if you have a wider foot, narrower foot. So adorable. So I had these on for a little while earlier and they were super comfortable. Super comfortable, super cute, 79 bucks. So great. So really excited about um, that addition for us. Okay, so there's that. Um, then I'm gonna whip quickly, whip over back and do bueno. I've only got 15 minutes left. So we're gonna, we're going to get through this, I promise. Well, we're not going to get through everything, but we're going to get through some of it. Okay, so our Bueno um, has come in quite nicely. We have some replenishment styles as well as some new styles. Just over here. Okay, so first of all, we have a new uh, style of dressy called Natasha. This one is one we've had in plain black in the past. I forget what it was called, uh, but I like this one because it just has that little bit of a metallic feel. Uh, nice for a bit wider as well because it does have the V in the front really pretty nice dressy heel and these are like 159 ish then we have lacy so this one is a perennial bestseller for us new color is called pewter and this one does fit a wider foot very nicely and uh, does have a bit of room in the instep velcro back then we also have it in white this is always a really good white shoe this would have been cute with what i was wearing too just a nice bright white and then, of course, black. So this one has been a perennial bestseller for us. We usually try to order it again mid-season if we're able to get inventory, but we just have no idea um, if we're able to or not. Uh, so new shoe on, a, so new bottom, same upper. So upper, it remains the same, new color, and then just that little bit more of a kind of a block heel block heel so um again that little bit of a 90s influence i like this because it's a nice match to the heel so you don't really notice like it's it's a nice combination of heel so i like always a little matchy match and then i'm gonna move over just a bit sorry guys whoa whoa okay move over over just a bit and then if you're not quite ready for sandals yet uh, there is definitely some shoe options. So we have a full shoe um, and then a, um, a full shoe and a cutout. So this is a kind of a nice buy now, wear now shoe. Um, this is your no sock option for sure. And this one is called Blake. Then we have a, another closed shoe option. So closed and then open on the side, open toe. So closed toe and then open toe. This one is called Tanner. We also have the Blake in this color. And this one's color is called gray leather. It's actually more of a taupe. Just had some last minute shopping. Don't usually have that at seven at night. <laughs> then we have another little mule. This one is called Blake Lee. And I actually bought this one myself. Um, I was finding that I needed something that was closed toe that I could wear right now and yet still wear with a crop pant that didn't look like a clumpy clog. Um, quite comfortable. I did go down a size in this one because I felt that if there's no adjustment. So if you don't go, if you go too sloppy, there's no way to kind of tighten it up if it does stretch. So um, very quite flat. So if you have to be okay with that. 
and that one is 129 so it's good price then we have uh this is a new color called tusk which is kind of neat it's like a gray a whiter gray and again there's that 90s influence right you gotta love the wedge i'm sure i probably had a pair of aerosols that were exactly like this so that's 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 taking you back um that were playing black like this but super cozy and like the ratchy leather um and a bit of adjustment in the back here and i love again that they match these two together then we have on the same base is called finley and if you ever had one of those steve madden uh, or like the candies platforms you know with the with the stretch that's exactly what this shoe reminds me of of course a little classier and um and a more comfortable version so a nice little wedge bottom and again, no adjustments. So I would buy them fairly trim just in case they do stretch. Okay. Um, then since we're here in the Seibel section, I'm just going to whip through the Seibel. 736. We're not going to have time to do, we have tons of Riker, but I did show that last time, I think. So the Seibel has been coming in kind of thick and fast. So I'm just going to quickly whip over these and just show them up. So if you do want to have a second look at these, you have a question, just screenshot these and I'm happy to help. So first of all, we have the um, white with the um, triple strap. So Joseph Seibel and Romika are owned by the same or parent company. And so you will see that there is some similarities between the styling. So the biggest difference is, is the Seibel isn't as flexible. So it, is, it does have a cork construction. Romika doesn't have a cork construction in most cases. So you will find the comfort is there. It's just a different different level of comfort. It's like apples and oranges. Some are both healthy. Some prefer one, some prefer the other. Okay, so love this. Also have, this one is called Tonga. So the Cybel is not on the website yet with the exception of maybe a couple, but most of them are not. So I'll be working on that this week. Uh, and this we have, this one's called Cream, but it's definitely more taupe. Then we have Tonga 77, which is again our little toe hold. This one is actually has a fabric toe hold, not a leather toe hold. You know, sometimes a leather toe hold can kind of be a little bit grabby. Um, this one I think is almost like you're not going to notice you have it on. Really pretty on. And buckle detail as well. Then we also have the Tonga in, this one's called Crystal, but it actually is silver. That would be a nice vacation shoe because you could wear it with anything. Then we have Tonga 82. So all the same bottom here. Tonga just means the base. And then all of the uppers are different. So we have one, two adjustments. And again, nice sort of for that everyday, um, everyday sandal. And then we have Tonga Camel, Tonga 82 Camel, same as the black. And then in the um, brights. So we've always tried to really bring in something that's, that's what kind of attracted me to the Viking was all of the color. Now it used to be very colorful and have tons of crazy colors. I'm stuck on here. Um, and they really aren't anymore. So we kind of felt that we needed a void. We had a bit of a void for that. So we have this and then the last new company that I'm going to show you also filled that void. So this one is double, all triple adjusting in the bright colors. And we also have it in the dark shades. So I think these are going to be great for a bit of a wider foot. This is a 37. And to me, that does look fairly wide, like a generous cut. And then this one I was wearing last week uh, with our little striped outfit. Very comfortable, like crazy comfortable. This is the Catalonia bottom. So if you have a clog from Joseph Seibel, this is probably the bottom it's on. And then also in the red almond taupe combination. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm just gonna grab my other new company here. So these ones, this is our other new brand uh, from tonight. And this one is called Bianca Moon. It is from Spain. They are butter soft leather beautiful styling and as soon as I show you you'll see where that European influence comes in so it's just a really small collection it's just four pieces I think I have a few more coming um, so we have this one and look at just kind of have a closer look at the heel really pretty heel and a really nice metallic combination these are like all about 169 ish full grain leather inside and out leather insole not a huge high arch but definitely some padding quite comfortable we've had a number of people try them on already and like your foot kind of sinks into it so it's not like it's like a, an arch that's um protruding it's just a nice soft support so there's that one and on the slightly different base is this one so you can kind of see it has that bit of a european influence with it i love that little bit of white with the um almost like a terrazzo type of 
effect in the sole. And then these these two are my favorites. Then in the same as the way we have this one, same sole in the navy. And then this one in just a little bit of a higher heel. This is my favorite personally. So I probably even could have gotten away with this actually because it's when I hold it up, it's actually pretty perfect. Um, but these brown Amelias are feeling pretty good. I gotta tell you. All right. Um, so this one does have another little option for color here, bringing in the orange. Really, really, really pretty. So, okay. So that's that. Um, then we have our Echo 741. Let's see how fast we can do the last two companies. Okay. So I am going to leave us here for a moment because then I'm going to zip over there. So in the Echo sandals, I'm just going to go grab them. So those of you who know and love Echo, um, you will not be surprised by this sandal. So we do bring in an early delivery of this sandal for anybody who's going away. Anybody who's going to Europe or getting these wet, um, they're not for immersing in water, but if you get them wet, it's no problem. Uh, we have this color combination. These are There's only one new color. There's this one. If you're a walker, if you're a hiker, if you're someone who wants to kind of wear one pair of sandals all summer long and do every activity, this is the one I'd recommend. If you're going to Europe this summer, if you're going on holidays and you're walking over cobblestones, this is the sandal. So there's no... No ifs, ands, or buts about it. The titanium combination, number one seller. Hello. Hi, Helene. I would love to see your purses. Um, I will make a note to set to do a purse video in uh, maybe the video after Blingo. So thank you for that. Uh, then we have the plain black with a little bit of green. And then this is the new color. So I think these are super pretty. It's kind of a um, like a light blue combination quite nice. And then we have two and a little bit dressier. So they don't have quite the guts in the sole, but they have a very pronounced arch. So if you're wanting something that's kind of a sports sandal, but a little bit more elegant looking, a little bit less sporty than that, um, these are supremely comfortable and you can probably wear them, get away with wearing them with a dress. If you're going on holidays and you're wanting something that's not chunky, um, this is a great option. So it comes in this color and then also in the gold. So this is gold, natural, and then gold again. So I think you would see it on your, like you would see it, but you wouldn't see it kind of thing. So we will have more echo to come. That was just our early delivery. Okay. I think I have time for one more really quick company. I'm just going to lift us up way up. It's like friendly giant. Look up, look way up. <laughs> All right. Funny how those things just never leave your mind, right? Okay, so our last uh, company is not new, new, but it's only our second season uh, with them. And that is Bitsa. They're also from Spain as well. And uh, we just got these in today or yesterday. So I'm just going to go over really quick. We did have only about four or five styles last year and did really well with them. So this one is a almost like a sock type of support, toe hold. But a lot of people who put their foot into this, last year we had denim and black, I think, um, put their foot in and said, okay, that's it, I'm buying these. Like no comp, like no contest. They were just that comfortable. So in this coloration, which is called blush, I think this is a really nice nude-ish kind of shoe. Uh, then we also have the denim again, because people really liked it. Really nice denim combination if you wear lots of jeans. And also the black again. Almost has a little bit of that blushy kind of color into it. It's not straight black. And then the white sole. Yeah. So on that base, um, that's it. Then they also do a really good job of that kind of Vokes Walker kind of look. So if you've seen Vokes Walkers or you have a pair, um, every, every company has a version of this shoe now. And I love these because they feel like butter. Like they're so soft. Leather lined inside and out. Great arch support. They're actually made in Turkey. So you can kind of see where the buildup is. And I love their colors. So um, this one is the teal. It's fun to have color in the summer. Then we have the black. And those are just a nice, easy, breezy beach. We have the silver gray, which we had last year. People really like that one. So we brought it in the exact same. Just a nice neutral. And then um, same upper or similar type of leather. We have, this is a new one called Sugar. Kind of fun kind of has that bowling shoe type of look 
orange, a little bit of taupe, and then the white. Great for narrow, I think. Like we haven't had this on any feet yet, but I think it would be great for narrow because you could really snug in nicely. All rubber bottom, really nice support. Also coming in the plain blue. If you don't like sort of that, um, if you don't like the sort of tri-tone look. And then, oh, there is one more on that base. Last one is a new one as well. So this one is one um, single piece upper and then Velcro strap, which is really nice. So again, if you're wanting that sandal that you could wear all summer long with everything and you need a back strap and you have maybe a slightly wider foot, I think this would be a really great option. Okay, I think I'm out of time. 7.46. Oi, why does that go so fast, hey? Oh, I know. All right, so um, that was just like the tip of the iceberg. So we, I, I almost wanted to put as the intro, Welcome to the Jungle <laughs> from Guns N' Roses because our footwear section is like, it's the piles are just getting higher and higher and higher. So every day we're getting something in. So we know that we have all of our sketchers coming on a pallet um, on Guard Wine because it's crazy amount. Uh, our Bionic is on the way. Uh, we have, what else do we have coming? Our, our first delivery of Fit Flop is on the way. And every day, everything sort of gets added to, right? So if you are looking for a new pair of summer sandals or shoes, I am sure that we have something um, that will tickle your fancy. So we would love to see you in store online at johnsonsfashion.com. I'm happy to help on the phone or on Facebook as well. So if you have a question and you're not comfortable with online ordering, uh, we do lots and lots of phone orders and we ship out uh, free over $100. So no problem to do that as well. We are playing Blingo again already next week. So if you haven't got your box yet, and you are wanting to get in on Blingo or you're suddenly free uh, next Wednesday, we'd love to have you as part of our Blingo Buddies community. And uh, we have 11 boxes left. So if you're just finishing curling and you think, oh, like, what am I going to do next Wednesday now that curling's over? So you could still continue your girls' night Wednesday and have Blingo with your curling team. So someone had suggested, come in and suggest that. And I'm like, I'm going to say that on the video because that's a great idea. Um, because lots of us, that curling is your night out, right? So uh, definitely think about having your, your team over and do Blingo instead. So we'd love to um, welcome you as part of our community. And um, we have 11 boxes left. What was I going to say? I had one more thing to say. Oh, if you haven't already, please leave us a comment. Hi, my name is. Where are you watching from? And are you watching live or on the replay? Um, bonus question this week is, do you do spring cleaning? Why or why not? And where do you start? And do you have any tips? So um, most of you know, I am not a house cleaner. That's not my, I like to cook. I don't like to clean, but I did delve into my bathroom last week because it was just to that point where I'm like, I have to just rip this out. Um, and it felt really good to actually have that done. So anyways, um, so we'll see you at seven o'clock next week for Blingo. The week after that will be the 27th. Definitely, we will be doing a uh, tribal, probably tribal slash Dolceza, more of this delivery. So I'll give you one more little outfit view. And what do you, what do you girls think? Does it look like pajamas? Do you think I could dress it up for work? Do you think you could wear it to a wedding? How would you dress it? Would you put it with the solid caramel? Would you put it with a solid caramel top or bottom? As we showed in the earlier video, if you're watching the replay, just scroll back. Um, would you put it head to toe like this or what I'm I'm interested to see so size wise the medium pant fit me which is with room um, the medium t-shirt is slim but I wanted it slim and the top I did go to a large top because I have a t-shirt underneath but I also feel like I need it across the bus so the t-shirt the is actually smaller than you would anticipate looking at it online. So that was an, I, I took actually the reverse into the room. I thought I'd have to go up a size in the pant and down a size in the top. And it was actually reversed. So, um, if you are ordering online, I would say stick to your regular size or size down in the pant. And I would say probably either regular or size up in the top. So, and this color is called daiquiri. So if you're looking on the website, just type in daiquiri and, uh, and it'll come up. So and it's on the, this is all on the tribal page as well. Okay. 750. That's it. I am cut off. Um, like I say, we could do this all night. We have lots of new dance go. We haven't showed you yet. We're going to get our sketches. We haven't showed you right away. So we are going to be doing lots and lots more footwear videos. So I'm excited for that because, um, what's that saying? Uh, never enough. No, what? No, never. Someone sent it, sent it to me on, uh, Facebook. 
uh, so many, so many shoes and only two feet. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so yes, definitely so many shoes and only two feet. So wonderful. Well, with that, we will leave you to a regular, um, Wednesday evening and we will look forward to seeing you girls for Blingo next Wednesday. Even if you didn't buy a box, uh, please join us. We always have a short twin draw and, uh, we always have lots and lots of fun for the hour. So thanks so much. Have a good day guys. Talk to you later.